Hey everyone, today we will be discussing about the Patent Agent Examination Question Paper 2018 and particularly uh, this video is catering to paper number 2. So paper number 2, the total marks is 100 marks and the allocated time to attempt this uh, paper is 3 hours. So there are 3 parts in this um, paper, part A, part B and part C would be in part C there would be two questions C1 and C2 and the allocated marks for those questions in total comes up to be 50 marks so the first thing and the um, the tricky part is if you're able to write the part C first and uh, in the allocated time period of maybe 1 hour 10 minutes or maybe 1 hour 15 minutes you will have 10-15 minutes to revise your part C because the maximum score can come from part C. So let's uh, dig into part C1. Uh, you have to attempt only two questions in part C and you will get your choices. So be wise while selecting which question to answer. So this is a very interesting application. Um, so part C1 in this case which the allocated marks is 20 marks. After reading the specification Provide an appropriate title, draft an abstract, maximum 150 words, and draft at least two claims. So generally, when uh, the question paper uh, is talking about two claims, that means first claim would be an independent claim, and the second claim would be dependent claim. In our previous video, we have already discussed the importance of uh, independent claim and dependent claim, and we'll try to re-emphasize those pointers here how to use it while writing this paper and particularly attempting uh, part c1 so if you see in, in question 8 just the at the look of it you are able to see uh, the paper talks about or this question talks about drawings figure 1 figure 2 figure 3 so the first thing you need to look at the figure the figure 1 gives you an overview what this invention is all about and accordingly you can form the title so let's read the first sentence this invention relates to a garden sprinkler hose to deliver water to restricted areas and in selected directions so that means this invention is uh, delivering water in particular area and in particular direction so when you see the emphasis has been put in selected direction it means there are some angles in the um, invention itself which is enabling the garden sprinkler hose to be used to deliver water in particular directions or in selected directions. And the extent of the area to which water is delivered by the hose is controlled by water pressure. The object of the invention, again this is very important when you uh, see this sentence, the object of the invention achieved by providing a hose construction which is generally triangular in transverse cross section, two of its three wall sections being relatively firm and thicker than its third wall section which is relatively thin and flexible. Now coming to the answer, provide an appropriate title. So the appropriate title for question number 8 can be in this case a garden sprinkler who now whether or not the function aspect should be there in the preamble that we can figure out once we write the claims for this case particularly. If you have any questions related to how to facilitate your intellectual capacity Put your questions in the comment box below and we will get back to you. Have a great day ahead. Stay safe. Jai Hind.